Hey, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlock. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at cloud security as a uh, result of configuring native settings within the cloud, not necessarily building castles, fortifications, strong walls, right? And castles are like the best metaphor for security. When you learn about defense in depth, well, let's show you. Here's our walls, here's our guards. Here, you know, it's, it's the thing that we all have grown up on learning. But here's the thing about castles. As much as I love them, listeners, you love them. Ever notice no one lives in castles anymore? We're going through these hurricanes and uh, it's terrible. But at the same time, these houses that are getting damaged are wood, right? They're not stone, they're not concrete. No one's living in the castle. Uh, which may make you wonder, why is castles our security metaphor? So here's a tip for you, forget about the castles especially when it comes to cloud computing. We need to move away from this concept of really strong, really tough, secure enclaves with multiple layers of defense. And the reason is, is because it didn't work for the people in the castles. They haven't lived there for 400 years. It's not working for us in cloud security, at least for four years, 404 yeah, internet time. Work with me. There was a study I was just uh, looking at that said that by 2020, a couple of years from now, 2020, over 95% of issues, security issues in the cloud will be the customer's fault. I think that's a little bit of customer blaming. But the point was, the point was, is that the lack of implementing security controls within the cloud, native controls, native settings, architecture platforms, are what's gonna cause our issues. Now this doesn't surprise me when I look at vendors um, in environments and their tool sets, right? When I do assessments or I talk to vendors about their products, it's usually pretty consistent that only about 50% of the features in any particular product are actually implemented. It's usually like the product's installed and we turn on a couple of things, right? We as a society, uh, meaning technologists, don't necessarily use the tools that we have to our full capabilities and the cloud is no different. And therefore this report postulated that the majority of security incidents were gonna occur not because of O-Days, but because of security settings not being put in place. Now, you can't wrap a wall around that. We can't put in more firewalls. We can't keep saying, build a castle, dig a moat. What we've gotta do is actually look at the individual settings that are available to us, and look at the individual controls that are available to secure these individual functionalities, these individual features, these individual capabilities that allow our organizations to do what they do, which is drive revenue, drive trucks, grow plants, do all the sort of stuff that uh, that we rely on companies to do. No one lives in castles anymore, and the perimeter and the, the standard default of defense and depth just isn't gonna get us there. We have to leverage all these tools that we have. Um, but without blaming people, seriously, 95% is our fault? That hurts, man. That cuts me deep. <laughs> what do you think? What are some good settings that you should set in your cloud? Hit me up in comments or on social media. Cheers.